Hi, I am Courtney and this is my daughter Annika and um, we are here at the Central Ohio Ronald McDonald House. Um, Annika and I live in the very northeast corner of Ohio, Ashtabula County. Not many people know where that's at. Um, but we have to travel here to Columbus very frequently to get the specialized health care that Annika needs. When Annika was three months old, she contracted a virus from her siblings and um, caused her to go into respiratory failure and multi-system organ failure. Um, she ended up on a machine called ECMO, which is the biggest life support machine there is. Um, that all took place in back in Cleveland, Ohio, and during that time we actually stayed at the Cleveland house. Um, after her illness, though, she was left with a multitude of health problems that have just become more compounded and very complex. In 2017, Cleveland transferred us here to Nationwide Children's in Columbus. Here, the first question I asked is, do you have a Ronald McDonald house? Um, and how close is it to the hospital? Because I had been living in a hospital room at that point for months on end. Um, and I knew that I needed a place to sleep, a place to wash clothes, a place to get food, a place just to get away from the hospital environments and be out of it for a few minutes of the day. Since then, I don't even know how many trips Annika and I have made down here. Um, we've spent months and months and months here in Columbus getting the specialized care that she needs. Without the house, um, Annika wouldn't have the access to the care that she needs. I wouldn't be able to be here with her and be here for her um, as when you have a child with such severe medical complexities, living in hotel rooms, having to go to restaurants for food, travel, it all becomes so, so, so expensive. And just being able to come here to the house and have a place to sleep, a place to eat, a place to have reprieve from the hospital and the doctors is so incredible. Um, not to mention the friendships and the camaraderies we've made here with other parents whose kids have other medical issues, some similar to Annika, many different, but we all form a family and we're there for each other. And we not only talk here, but we talk outside of the house and we're always there rooting for each other. And that's just incredibly huge. Um, for example, we met a family here from New Jersey. Um, when she first had a procedure done, which is like a trial procedure that they're only doing here, and the little girl ran up to us and said, hey, you have a, a gastric pacemaker in because I just went through that myself. And that was two years ago. And we still talk to that family. Her daughter's a teenager, Annika's five, but I can call them up and say, hey, this is going on. Have you guys experienced this? You know, what are they doing for you? Um, we have other friends that just, the kids have become great friends. The moms have become great friends. And you can sit in the dining room and chat and play a game and just pretend like the medical world isn't happening um, and have some some normalcy for the kids because they get so used to procedures and hospitals and things to be like, hey, I have a friend. That's my friend. And it's really cool. Yes, Miss Monica. Do you have a favorite room What's in the house? What's your favorite room in the house? Uh, the, the playroom. The playroom. Which one? The, the one that has all the toys in it. Is it the princess one? with the baby dolls and the princess clothes? Yeah, in the kitchen. Oh, the one with the kitchen, the um, one on the, um, with the big play kitchen and all the play toys and the games and the crafts. We can't go there now. Yeah, not right now, for safety, huh? I mean, I honestly, we're always extremely careful with her and germs and stuff, so we always take that extra series of cautions. And actually, I mean, I even feel more safe here now um, just because everybody is taking it very seriously. Not that there was anything wrong with, you know, any of the things before, but everybody here is taking it so seriously, wearing the mask, utilizing special precautions, sanitizing extra. I mean, I feel very safe and very comfortable with being here with her um, so that we can keep getting the care we need. Yeah, we're very, 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 very thankful to be able to stay here to get what Annika needs to keep, keep winning her battle and keep winning her fight. Thank you which it doesn't even begin to go as into as deep of a thanks as I would like. Um, unless you were in my shoes and our shoes and all the families here's shoes, I don't think you could ever truly realize the impact that you have on us and on our children. Um, saying hello, hey, can I get that for you? Can I help you? 
when, when you're pushing a wheelchair with oxygen and feeding tubes and everything else around and they go, oh, hey, I'll just get that for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like there's never enough thanks. Thank you for being here. Thank you for giving so that we can continue to be here um, because it makes a world of difference that we can have a safe place to stay so that we can get what we need for her to keep moving mountains.